What's up guys? I am in Donald Russell's kitchen with the head chef, Matt Schmidt. And we're gonna do steak today. And you've got for me, Omelette. what cuts? Omelette for you. Omelette pour moi, and for you. We're gonna feed the camera crew and everything because those guys look hungry. Now, do, actually. Omelette has a, a distinct flavor. And why do you think that is? Well, it sits underneath here, underneath the diaphragma, so it's in there with all the... It sits with all the organs. And all the organs, exactly. So yeah. you have quite a lot of flavor of that. Yeah, it's a, it's a strong flavor. Um, you know, if you've had your if you had your kidneys, if you've had, uh, you know, liver, they've all got, you know, a bit more of a mineral taste. They've yes. got a bit more yes. oomph. You know where you're at with awful. Correct. So, um, but you guys do a butterfly omelette. Yes, of course, because it's easier to cook. Simple yeah, it's quicker. So you, you shorten your cooking time. You got more uh, surface area to flavor. So this is it's a smaller omelette, and then you've got their butterfly ones, and of course you've got mini kind of minute, yeah, minute I, I, omelette steaks just to get them there nice and quick. Okay, so we're just going to give a little bit of a brush. That's it. With some vegetable oil, can you give her a flip, please, my friend? Boom, boom. I, I like. I like trying to command the uh, the main That's chef. It. I'm sorry. I should be. I should be. You should be telling me what to do. You're the Com chef. Coming today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay, so we're, I'm going to make it rain salt. So this one we're going to go on first. Yes. Just to get one. Okay. And there then. Goes. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. It's the flavor enhancer. Ooh. And now we're going to go with. The kind of butterfly. Make it rain. There we go. That's it. And then, yeah. you want to throw those, those minute steaks on? Boom. Yeah, put them on as well. There we go. And um, and Matt, where do you come from? I'm from the south of Germany. South of Germany. You got the best mountain. You got all the good skiing and snowboarding. And you got the prettiest girls. But he can't count on that because he's got a local girl up here in Scotland. Yeah, she just got me in that was it. That was it, man. She she looked in those eyes and she fell yeah. in love. All right. Scottish woman and some good beef. Uh, keeps it here, isn't it? That's it. Oh, look at that. So we want to build up a crust on the outside. You can see right there. You want to build up a nice little crust with that steak. Oh, oh my This isn't going to need much more, is it? That's going to go pretty no, quick. Just, that's going to be going to be ready in a few seconds, so okay. just going to put it out. And you can always like do a little bit of a, a touch test. So, if you touch your finger, your thumb and your finger here, and you push in here, you don't press hard, just touch them. That's rare. That's medium rare. That's well. I mean, that's medium well. And that's... That's your grandma steak, you know, grandma likes it over. And you can even do it with your face, so. Can even, like, yep, there we go. Rare, 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 medium, grandma steak. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think it's time, eh? Get the big one out. Okay, hold on, we, we gotta do the magical spin before we do, we pull the steaks off, there we go, now. Not bad, mate. Oh, oh Zupa Dunka, <laughs> Zupa Dunka. I like how you got the resting thing for it. The well, thing is, that, you know, I don't, you don't want to have it lying in their own block or in their own juices. So it's nice that it can drip if there's something left. So there we go with the omelet. Oh, she's good. Because a lot of times you'll rest them, your steaks, like in, in a kind of a, a warm holding oven, right? Just I do, I do, I do prefer that because. I do like having windows open. I, I like fresh air in my kitchen, so it's really a bit too cold. So I like to have it nice and cozy for the steak. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So yeah, just around about 60 degrees, keeping it warm. And then resting, well, good thing. As long as you have it in the pan, as long as it has to rest. That's it. And the rule of thumb. Yeah, so, I mean, sometimes, like if I'm on the grill, I'll rest it for half an hour time I've cooked it for, and right near the end, this is when I'll add, I'll add the, the pepper because it's not going to burn in, it's not going to go acrid, but it's still cooking. Even though it's resting, it's still cooking. Yeah. The heat is there, so. The heat is, or as Glenn Fry says, the heat is on, and then when you're cooking with a hot heat and the pepper goes down, you get that hit in the back of your throat. Yeah. Did, you get, did you feel that? Sorry about that. Okay. There you go. Let's get that in. Boom. So we're kind of we're kind of rest cooking, pepper's going in there, it's still doing some magic. And then we're going to feast. 
You can make angels. All right. So let's put that on. Huh? You've got your full anglet. You've got your butterfly anglet, and then you've got your mini, your little mini ones like that. Okay. Good. Nice thing is you can see clearly. This is how how the fibers run. Yep. So we're gonna cut just straight down, That's and then it. it's just good to eat. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, Blushing. Gosh. So that's pretty much medium rare. That's a nice medium rare. Yep, you got it. So towards the end, it's kind of medium to medium rare. And as you go towards the middle, a bit more on the rare side. So you're ticking all the boxes. And some of my favorite chefs, Indeed. they cook omelet rare. I like medium rare, but because it um, doesn't have as much fat. Well, the thing is, Exactly. It hasn't got much fat, so if you go more than a medium, yeah, you, you, you just, just ruin the whole cut. <laughs> You're gonna destroy you know, it. You just shouldn't do it. Just, no. just, just don't do it. Don't. All right. So I this, see here, this, this one. was new for me. When I watched your butchers do this, oh man! And then you got and more you surface see, area to get that savoriness in. You have so much. Yeah, exactly. That's a, that's exactly the point. Because it is so much area. You have this nice, crunchy, crackling bit on the outside where all this flavor comes from. Yeah. And then still succulent and nice, lovely medium rare blushy in there. That's it. That's pop. So th right here, look, you've got, you've got your rare, you've got your medium rare, and then you've got your medium rare right there. And you've got more surface area, so you've got that lovely yeah. savoriness. And it's quicker. Yeah. So if you're really, like, desperate hungry, that's a small steak to do. That's it. Okay. Finish it up. And I'm gonna make it rain salt. So here's my favorite rains in order. It goes salt, then it goes cheese, then parmesan. <laughs> rain salt. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh, nice. That's some good meat. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna try. A tear trickles down the side of my cheek. Mm. Mm. All right. If you like your omelet, if you like your steaks, well, there's information below. Somewhere in this content, check it out. And you can order online. Uh, you can make a phone call to Donald yeah, Russell. Call us. Or they got the catalog. They got uh, multiple ways to order meat, and it'll get sent straight to your door. And this is the man who does all the rad stuff in the kitchen to do to conjure up new recipes, new ideas, classic recipes, reinvents them, makes them taste better. Because remember, the devil gave us butchers. No, it was, no, I did it wrong. God gave us butchers and the devil gave us chefs. Is that it? I hope it's that one. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm DJ Barbecue, that's Matt Schmidt. You guys are awesome and that is a mighty fine, tasty, of me.